So for this video, we will be finding all of the six trigonometric functions. So for the first problem, we see that tangent of theta is equal to negative 15 over 8. And it says that this th theta is in the second quadrant. Okay, so we'll just draw the uh, x and y coordinate plane. We know that in the first quadrant, all of the trigonometric functions, so sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, cosecant, and secant, is all positive. In the second quadrant, we know that only sine and uh, cosecant is positive, which the rest is negative, and we know that the third quadrant, that only tangent and cotangent is positive, and the rest are negative. And finally, for the last one, we have cosine and a secant is positive only, and everything else is negative. So a way to remember this is all students take calculus. So after that, we will now find uh, x and y coordinate plane for this. So now for this, we know that theta is in the second quadrant, so somewhere like this. Bring down the line and draw a right triangle. So for this, it gives us tan is equal to negative 15 over 8. In other words, tangent is equal to sine over cosine, right? So sine over cosine, which in this case is just sine is equal to y, while well, cosine is equal to x. So for this, we know that on the for sine is equal to 15, right? That's so the x-axis. That's the y-axis, right? So 15. And we know on the bottom of it will be the x-coordinate, which is negative 8. It's negative because it's on the left side of the x-axis um, over here on this side. Okay, we're trying to find this over here. This value is the hypotenuse side, which is r. To find this, we use Pythagorean theorem. So we got a squared. Well, a squared plus b squared plus c squared. So in this case, it's just 15 squared plus negative 8 squared equals c squared. Negative 15 squared is just 225 plus 64 is equal to c squared. 225 plus 64 is 289. <clears throat> c squared, take the square root of both, and we get that c is equal to 17. So in this case, we know that this side is 17. Let's erase all this. After determining all the sides, all you gotta do is just find the six trigonometric functions. So firstly, we find sine of theta, which in this case is the opposite of hypotenuse. So we use this reference angle over here. That's theta. This is theta over here. We're trying to find. It's opposite over hypotenuse, opposite and hypotenuse, which is in this case is 15 over seventeen. Next, to find the cosine of theta, it's adjacent over hypotenuse. So adjacent over hypotenuse is negative 8 over 17. Okay, Find the tangent of theta. We don't need to. It's already given to us. And the tangent of theta is just negative 15 over 8. Okay. Eight. Next is just to find the reciprocal of these. So the sine of the reciprocal of sine is just cosecant, right? Cosecant of theta. In this case, is just the reciprocal of sine. So it will be seventeen over fifteen. All we did, we just flip it. Reciprocal of cosine is a secant. So secant theta, which is the opposite of it. So will be 17 over negative 8. Okay. Now the re reciprocal of tangent is cotangent. So cotangent theta, flip the numbers, just 8 over 15. Negative 8 over 15. Okay. So to make if the negative and positive signs are true, we know that sign is only positive on the second quadrant and everything else is negative. That's why tangent and cosine and secant and cotangent are all negatives.
So these are the six trigonometric functions for this problem. Now moving on to the next problem. We are given that cotangent of theta is square root of 3 over 8. <clears throat> and we know that the theta is in quadrant 1. So I'll draw an x and y coordinate plane. And we see that in 1, the quadrant 1, we have theta. So square root of negative 3 over 8 is in this place. Draw the line down. And then draw a right triangle. So let me redraw that. triangle. <clears throat> cotangent, in this case, cotangent of theta is equal to negative 3 over 8, okay? But also, we know cotangent is just the reciprocal of tangent, so the sine over cosine, cotangent will be cosine over sine. So this will be x over y, okay? So in this case, x will be square root of 3, while y would be 8. So x in this case, and the x-axis will be square root of 3, and y would be, and the y-axis would be 8. All we got to find now is the hypotenuse side. So all we do now is just do a squared plus b squared plus c squared, Pythagorean theorem. So negative uh, square root of 3 squared plus 8 squared is equal to c squared. So that's 3 plus 64 equal to c squared. 64 plus 3 is 67 and we know that this take the square root of both sides is equal to square root of 67. Okay. It's equal to c in this case. So that means on the x-axis it will be equal to square root of 67. Okay. <coughs> For this now, all we do now is find the six trigonometric functions, which in this case, let's erase everything. Start with sine. Sine of theta, okay, is equal to. Let's use this as our reference angle on theta. This is theta over here. You know, sine is this opposite over hypotenuse, okay. Which is just in this case is 8 over square root of 67. I want to rationalize the denominator, so just uh, times both sides with square root of 67. Okay, in this case, we will get as 8 and square root of 67 over 67. That is sine of the theta. My cosine over theta. All we do is just adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's a square root of 3 over square root of 67. On a rational denominator, so both times both sides of 67. Okay. Square root of 67. We get an answer as two hundred and one over sixty seven. Find tangent of theta. Tangent of theta was just of opposite over adjacent. Or we could have just got the cotangent that we have that was given and just flip it. Okay. In this case, it's just 8 over negative 3. Fraction of the denominator. Square root of 3 both sides will give us 8 over radical over 3 over 3. Okay, there's 10. So cotan of theta, cotangent of theta, is already given to us. It's just rad 3 over 8. Okay. A secant of theta is just a reciprocal of cosine. Cosine in this case was just square root of 201 over 67. All it is now is just take the reciprocal of that, so flip it 
actually, instead of flipping that, we'll flip the original one to over here. Just right that. So, cosine in this case was just square root of 3 over next square root of 67. Take the reciprocal of that, which just would be square root of 67 over square root of 3. Let's rationalize both denominators. Times the square root of 3. And this will give us square root of 201 over 3. Okay. Finally, last but not least, applying a cosecant of theta. In this case, cosine of theta was over here. 8 over square root of 67. So we'll just flip it. would we'll just be square root of 67 over 8. Don't need a rational denominator, add in the answer. And these are the answers for the six trigonometric functions for this problem. Again, all of the answers was positive because it was in the first quadrant, which all trigonometric functions are positive.